ओके इन केस ऑफ डेफिसिट देर इज एन एक्सेस सप्लाई ऑफ कंट्रीज करेंसी ऑन द वर्ल्ड मार्केट वैन दिस वुड हैपन दिस वुड हैपन इफ कंट्रीज इम्पोर्ट्स आर ग्रेटर दैन कंपनी कंट्रीज सॉरी कंट्रीज इम्पोर्ट्स आर ग्रेटर दैन कंट्रीज एक्सपोर्ट्स सो इन दैट केस द सप्लाई ऑफ कंट्रीज करेंसी वुड बी वुड बी इन एक्सेस सो इफ द कंट्री इज ऑपरेटिंग इन फ्लोटिंग एक्सचेंज रेट रिजीम इन दैट केस गवर्नमेंट शुड अलाउ द करेंसी वैल्यू टू टू डी वैल्यू शुड अलाउ इट्स करेंसी टू डी वैल्यू और अल्टरनेटिवली इफ द कंट्री इफ द कंट्री इज ऑपरेटिंग इन फिक्सड एक्सचेंज रेट रिजीम इन दैट केस कम कंट्री शुड एक्सपेंड इट्स ऑफिशियल रिजर्व टू डिफेंड इट्स करेंसी और टू डिफेंड टू डिफेंड द फिक्स एक्सचेंज रेट अ कंट्री इज मोर लाइकली टू हैव अ डेफिसिट इन इट्स करंट अकाउंट इफ हायर इट्स प्राइस लेवल इज सपोज इफ इफ द प्राइस लेवल इज इन द कंट्री इन दैट केस दिस विल मेक द इम्पोर्टेड गुड्स दिस विल गिव इम्पोर्टर्स एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू इंट्रोड्यूस देयर गुड्स इन टू द कंट्री एंड दिस विल इंक्रीज द इम्पोर्ट्स ऑफ द कंट्री एंड अल्टरनेटिवली इफ द इम्पोर्ट बैरियर्स आर लो इन दैट केस अगेन देर वुड बी एन एक्सेस ऑफ इम्पोर्ट्स ओवर एक्सपोर्ट्स ऑफ द कंट्री एंड दिस विल इंक्रीज द सप्लाई ऑफ कंट्रीज करेंसी एंड कॉन्सिक्वेंटली द बैलेंस ऑफ पेमेंट वुड बिकम डेफिसिट सो दिस इज अबाउट एन अदर व्यू ऑफ सरप्लस एंड डेफिसिट इन बैलेंस ऑफ पेमेंट सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट इंटरेक्शन ऑफ बैलेंस ऑफ पेमेंट विद की मैक्रो इकनॉमिक वेरिएबल्स a nation's balance of payment interacts with nearly all key macroeconomic variables the interaction of balance of payment with macroeconomic variable means that balance of payment affects uh, all uh, all key macroeconomic variables like gdp exchange rate interest rate and inflation rate etc and also all these key macroeconomic variables affect balance of payment so it's a two way relationship you can say so how balance of payment affects gdp so if you can if you take a look at gdp formula or its components there are four major components first one is the consumption spending second one is the capital investment spending third one is the government spending and this fourth item is the balance of trade you can say that the difference between exports and imports so if there is an excess of exports over imports this means that your gdp would be high this will increase your gdp greater exports will increase your gdp and we also know that greater exports would also increase the balance uh, of current account it means that if you are exporting more than what you are importing in that case the current account of balance of payment will show a surplus and similarly in the same uh, in the same vein the balance of payment would also so show a surplus so there is a relationship of balance of payment and gdp due to the imports and exports of the country secondly balance of payment also affects the exchange rate because the balance of payment includes the uh, the difference of imports and exports it includes the capital inflow and outflow the net value of capital in difference of capital inflow and outflow uh, the balance on financial inflow and financial outflow and the the fourth component is the official monetary reserves so what if the country is operating in fixed exchange rate regime and company is exporting more than what it is importing it means that the country's currency would start gaining value so if the country country's currency would start gaining value in that case the country's export will become more expensive for 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 other countries consumers so in that case the central bank should intervene into the into into the market and it should start reducing the demand of local currency how central bank can do that central bank can can uh, can one way is that central bank can start printing its own money its domestic money and give it to 
those who are demanding money and in exchange of that central bank can start collecting foreign currencies this will increase the official reserves of the currency so uh, this means that balance of payments surplus can affect the exchange rates but if the country is operating in floating exchange rate regime in that case definitely we know that the government will not intervene into the market and the government must allow the currency value to increase so there is an interaction of balance of payment and exchange rates third one is the interaction of balance of payment with interest rate now if the the overall level of country's interest rate compared to other countries does not have does have an impact on financial account of balance of payment because if there is a low interest rate in the country in that case money start flowing outside the country and alternatively if there is a high interest rate in the country the the money or the funds will start incoming into the country inflowing into the country in search of that higher interest rate so again there is an interaction between balance of payment and interest rates now it's a short note what we have discussed uh, about the relationship of trade balances and exchange rates a country's imports and exports of goods and services is affected by changes in exchange rates and the transmission mechanism is in principle quite simple changes in exchange rates change relative process of imports and exports and changes changing prices in turn result in changes in quantities demanded through the price elasticity of demand and this whole process although looks simple but it's not simple in practice it's very complex in the real international business this is the end of review of lecture 3 thank you for your time